Hey guys, for usual, everything on this channel is for educational purposes only and is not intended as financial advice. So it's been a while since a Bitcoin market update, a multi time frame, multi dimensional look at your favorite Bitcoin. Alright, so we have the pitchfork drawn at this point, October 30th, 2016. Where do we stand? Let's take a look. We hit play. Okay, everything's good. Everything's gravy. We're still within the bounds of the pitchfork. And again, red is the median line. Lower bound blue is the buy support. And upper bound blue is the sell. You would expect the median line to continually be hit and consolidated around throughout the trend. Uh, anytime price breaks below the trend, the trend is invalidated. Anytime price breaks above you should expect a pullback to be imminent and so far that's been the case twice uh, and if you want to count these two tops they're also in the overbought territory so was this so this pitchfork is the gold standard of the trend currently it started uh, from 2015 to 2016 really early late mid 2015 all right so that's that pitchfork now you can draw pitchforks within the pitchfork which i like to call pitchforkception and if we move here, this is sort of the one I've settled on in the current time frame on the two hour. This is what this one is on. This is the Bitfinex dump in August. And then this is just the recent high low. And originally I had this drawn here to here and that was invalidated. So then you just redraw your ridge work and you can see why that's kind of a problem on lower time frames. But, uh, you know, once these points were established, this was the target, the high probability target. So although I might not have drawn this immediately, or you might not have seen this immediately. Once the bottom was in, you were sure to some degree uh, that was what the target was. All right, so this looks good as well. Uh, buy is here, sell is going to be up here, high probability here, nothing new. Uh, so I'd expect some resistance as we hit this zone again. And that's conf there's confluence all over that. There's a diag here that I'll show later. There's horizontal zones. There's uh, psychological resistance of 1200 that we're hitting right now so it's all sorts of resistance here that i expect to continually knock on the next couple of days we look at heiken ashi this is a blx uh, index from brave new coin you can see that i'm always if you've never seen a video from me i talk about heiken ashi quite a bit and the point of heiken ashi is to look at trends so green is bullish red is bearish anytime you see two of the opposite colored candle or same colored candle you should expect to some degree a new trend to form so if you have an, a uh, let's say we decided this was the bottom we're expecting this to, to pull up a little bit okay so again you're long maybe one two or three candles later this red candle happens here's your stop you just hold it hold it hold it and here's your next red candle then you get stopped out and stuff sort of goes sideways here so whether or not depending on how your rules are with heiken ashi depends on how you would open this so you'd either be reopened with a stop here or you would wait till something up here maybe you'd even wait till you get a new high here whatever it is whatever you want to do so you'd be long again hold it hold it stop here long you're still long hold it hold it stop here they need to be stopped out and again you're looking for two or three candles that are the same color in the established trend so currently you're, you're long and holding it there's no real stop uh, other than i usually use these dojis where there's virtually no momentum that's what that's i can actually tell you so your stop would be somewhere around 1170 at the moment and i have one active long that is uh has a, i keep moving a stop up because i think this is going to flip pretty soon but um 1170 is a good stop based on heiken ashi and if you look at the daily you can see just the insanity of momentum this has been a, a bit mirroring this january descent late december china uh, fundamental pump uh, you can see it's not this consolidate consolatory pump that's not even a word consolidation pump whatever sideways up you know it's it's definitely just straight 45 degree angle so that right there tells me that this can't go on forever amongst a few other things so enjoy it while it lasts uh, so let's move to the cloud my favorite and 
obviously best indicator that anybody should be using with these settings 2061 2030 you can see immediately that there's some weirdness going on here prices above kijun above cloud yet the tk remains heavily not bullish <laughs> you can see uh you know this happened before when we had the inverted head and shoulders break up this is, could, because it takes a while for the tk lines to catch up with price when it moves super quick like this i'd expect the same thing to happen again so we're, we're one or two weeks maybe away from a tk cross above the cloud which at the time i wrote an article on how it TK crosses above the cloud don't usually go anywhere. Uh, so we got the cross and then it pulled back and then it went. So I'll take that as a neutral as far as my call is concerned. <laughs> but overall, I would be expecting the same thing here. You can see it's set up perfectly for that. Inverted head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders. Uh, TK cross yet to occur. Price way above key June again. So as TK cross does happen, your safest bids would be at the key june again now whether or not this will go for another drive after who knows what now this was a pvoc announcement so fundament the fundamentals met technicals here to drive this loaf in one day you know all this all these gains were lost in one day similar you know there's a, there's a mini so if we call this an eiffel tower there's a mini eiffel tower here so we may get another eiffel tower here you know this is weeks maybe a month away at this point but whatever just watch for the, the tk recross on the daily so that, that makes me a little hesitant this i consider this a somewhat of a div based on the cloud so your entry your heavy heavy entry would be uh tk cross or bounce on the key june for sure moving to the four hour uh, it took some longs on the four hour kuma breakout i was expecting a further pullback uh, when you see a pullback to the tenkin on the four hour it tells you a few things. First thing it tells you is this is a super strong trend, and you can see it's held the Tenkin, which is a 20 EMA essentially. This whole time on the far, so what you can do is bump it down to the one hour, 30 minute, and see see what you can see, and we'll do that. Immediately what I see is this T, uh, TKC clamp, TK disequilibrium. And you can see how it's flat. Price is up here, so this tells me be careful longing this because it's looking like reversal over continuation at the moment uh, and with all these wicks at the 1200 psychological resistance it makes sense I'd, m I'd much rather see it go sideways for a week than go up any further because it's going to crash super hard if it does just like it did uh, you know for the pboc stuff here so yeah i'm still long i think it'll go keep going but uh, i'm not confident this is going to just moonshot from here for sure Here's the hourly on the cloud, and you can see that uh, although it was hugging the Tenkin on the four hour, you can zoom this in on the hourly, and you can see that it gives you better re entries should you miss anything. So, this was a bull flag here, and then we get the TK recross. So, on this candle with the TK recross above the cloud, I always say it's the strongest continuation sign you can get. TK recross below the cloud would be the strongest bearish continuation sign you can get, uh, similar to here. TK uh, recross for the bear direction, and then we get the Kijun bounce, and then boom. Okay, so we have the TK cross above cloud, strong continuation possibility. We get Kijun bounce. We had a failed head and shoulders, which we don't see too often, but when you do, you should expect heavy heavy momentum in the opposite direction if a pattern doesn't break down the way it should that tells you there's enough momentum to keep it going obviously so when this didn't break down and it broke above the previous local that was an indication that uh, this had plenty of momentum to keep going so you were long from here or not whatever uh, and then you close here or keep it open whatever you want to do just spinning in the cloud is telling you to close based on the tk cross and you get another tk recross that's one, two TK recrosses above the cloud so far. And currently we're just sort of sitting up here, possibly a bull channel-ish on the hourly, I don't know. When we start to see the lagging span go into price, which will happen in a few hours, unless this breaks local highs, uh, that's definitely the beginning of the end of this immediate leg here. And then you'd be looking for another TK cross recross above the cloud. Just keep riding those hourly. As long as you know it's trending, just go to the hourly it's the best time frame 
for Bitcoin. I don't know why. I always talk about the hourly. It's it's just so good. If you're trading at high leverage, looking for the trend, looking for re-entries, you miss something, you were asleep when the move happened, whatever. Uh, go to the hourly with the cloud. It'll give you great entries. Then lastly, a few random charts. Looking at the monthly, there's a pretty nasty bear div forming. Should it be real? We'll see. Um, you know, to cancel this, it needs to break 97 on the RSI, which is quite the feat. It would just need absolute nuts buying to break the 97 uh, on that. I think um, technically this might not be a higher high yet, but it's pretty damn close to uh, these candles here. I mean, it's clearly a new all-time high, so if you zoom in and in, it's definitely a new high, but the divs there, the price is meh. Whether or not a div can last five years like this, or you know, how far do you draw back? So here's another look at the quarterly futures contracts closing on various time frames. Uh, sorry, on the daily, but um, the previous five, one, two, three, four, five, six quarterly closes now. The general idea has been uh, we're either topped or bottomed, topped or bottomed, arguably topped, and this may or may not represent a bottom, but uh, it's alternated so far. Usually a top looks like a top, and a bottom looks like consolidation. This does not look like consolidation and does not look like a top, so who knows what this will end up being, but overall it doesn't really meet the previous pictures or correlations of how quarterlies have rolled over on OKCoin. Okay it's possible this is because the Chinese volume and Chinese trading in general has just been decoupled from price price almost completely now with the PBOC restrictions and regulations. So we'll see what this looks like, but um, definitely doesn't look like anything that has happened since uh, quarterlies even started. There, there have been a few more quarterlies back here, but uh, nothing in recent memory on quarterlies anyway. And then again, here's that inverted head and shoulders fractal repeating you can see we've cleanly broke the horizontal of the neckline. Whether or not this actually was a head and shoulders, who knows, but the target would be 1350-ish, which is basically this zone, previous uh, local high. Nothing new there. And this time point was just measuring the, the first to the, pre the, the next one, and uh, it kind of broke before even this one did. So overall, it's saying that this trend is faster than the previous. And lastly, looking at the bullish butterfly harmonic. I've been mentioning this in the 4-hour follow-throughs, that this was the first target as soon as everything completed between the 50% and 618. And then the next target is the diagonal from A to C. So after that, who knows, but uh, I'd imagine it's just local high, 1300. So right now it's on right where it should be, based on... The harmonic completing, so harmonic paid off pretty good. There's probably another harmonic here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let me just draw that real quick. So if this is real, whatever this is, um, crab. I don't. I don't even know. I don't care. Now the point would be somewhere around 1220, with a stop at local high, I guess. You can measure out the 1.272. If you measure here to here, you can never mentally get this right. Okay, and that would make no sense, but uh, you know, the R and R on that's disastrous. So you probably wouldn't want your stop all the way up there. Point is, it's possible to chain these harmonics together, and the target would be between 1016, 1055. So that's got a ways to confirm for sure. But it would be a nice pullback target, should it happen. That's all I have for today. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter and Telegram, and happy trading.